this weekend I am going to Newcastle with my boyfriend for his birthday. Neither of us have ever been before. So let's go. So I lied at the beginning, I have already returned from Newcastle now, but as I am very shy about talk filming in public, talking to a camera in public, and um, it's almost impossible to film in a very small hotel room with someone who refuses to be on camera, you're getting a retrospective from me here talking about our time. We got the train directly there, which was really, really nice, brought us right into the middle of the city, and we were staying in the middle of the city too. We arrived about half past three, so we went straight from our hotel to Granger Market, which is a well-known market in the middle of Newcastle, where there are lots of different uh, food stalls, like there are places like butchers and fishmongers and um, greengrocers but there are also lots of street food or like tiny restaurant kind of style things there um, because I had heard about a place where you could get dumplings that's supposed to be really good but the market is more of a lunch thing because it closes at half past five. After that our concierge told us to walk down the Tyne to Usburn, which is like a bit on a tributary of the Tyne where there are lots of pubs and restaurants and um, lots of live music. breakfast we took the metro to Tynemouth which I think is how they say it because everyone was saying Tynemouth but it looks like I would say Tynemouth but um yeah we took the metro there because I'd heard about this restaurant called Riley's Fish Shack which is right on the beach in Tynemouth and was some of the best food we've ever had and from there we walked along the coast to Whitley Bay before we got the metro back into town. And we were so stuffed from lunch uh, it dinner for dinner we just kind of wandered around a bit and we went to this little korean place that was doing korean barbecue but we couldn't get a barbecue table which was fine because i was 
not hungry at all um, but we had a bibimbap which was actually really really good uh, on Saturday we got the bus to Jesmond Dean which is a park that has an old mill and a waterfall it was Saturday morning um, so there was a market on which we did not know about I hadn't done my research for that um, but it was really uh, so but that was a really wonderful surprise um, and then we walked up to the waterfall We were gonna have lunch with my boyfriend's dad that day because it was his birthday um, and his dad lives in Cumbria, so not very far from Newcastle. Um, and we didn't realize, again, bad research, bad planning, didn't realize it was a Newcastle home game that day. So we were very late meeting his dad uh, because the traffic was terrible because loads of people were coming into the tune to see um, Newcastle play Bournemouth and it was so busy in town that evening people had obviously had a very good time um, but we went out for uh, really nice Indian food uh, at a place called Kai Kai which specialised in tandoori food That night we went to the cinema and we saw Iron Claw um, which is the Zac Efron film about um, wrestling about a family wrestling dynasty i know absolutely nothing about wrestling so it wasn't until afterwards that i looked it up that i realized it was based on a true story i was like unsure um whether it was based on a true story or not um no at the end it does that thing that true stories do where they give you like what happened afterwards that they're not showing um and i wasn't sure about the film like part way through it is nearly three hours long <laughs> which is very long for a film a lot was happening um but it also felt slow at the same time, um, so I wasn't sure. Um, although the aesthetic, I think, was perfect for the film that it was, the story it was telling. Um, it felt a bit relentless. Um, but then I cried for like the last 10 minutes of the film, so um, it definitely worked to move me. Um, I'm not a huge crier at media, as I've talked about here before, so um, it definitely hit me. And afterwards, when I was trying to explain to my boyfriend what about it specifically made me cry, I just started crying again outside the cinema. Um, so I was, yeah, it definitely, definitely got to me um, and tugged at my heartstrings. And Zac Efron's like transformation um, to play the role was also pretty impressive. Um, and we went out that night for a couple of drinks, but uh, I didn't capture much of that. And uh, so then on Sunday, we mostly just came home because I was exhausted and I had packed shoes that I thought I could break in on that trip, but were in fact just too small. <laughs> and so I really, really hurt my feet. Um, we were doing like 20,000 steps every day because that's what happens when you go on a city break. You always walk so much. Um, and packing shoes I wasn't sure fit was probably not the best idea. But we had such a lovely time. Newcastle is a really great city. I really like like smaller cities. Um, I'm a Londoner, so I'm used to massive metropolises as well. Like I have nothing against them, but with a small city, although obviously I don't know Newcastle intimately, I feel like you get a better 
experience when you're only there for a short period of time because it's less overwhelming and there's less like travel time between places to get to see things. I'm sure there's loads I missed of Newcastle. It doesn't feel like going to like Rome or something where you're like, oh, there's so much I missed and I've got all these things in my itinerary to get through. Um, it was a much more relaxed time. Everyone was very lovely. We were very lucky with the weather um, and yeah, it was beautiful and it's always nice to go, go to the seaside as well. So thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know if you enjoyed this video, give the video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you are new here, my name is Roisin. I put out new videos twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, so I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.